Welcome to What are graphemes? Have you heard your child's teacher talking about graphemes and thought, I have no idea what they are talking about? The intention of today's video is to describe to you what graphemes are and the different types of graphemes. So that next time when the teacher's talking about graphemes or your child's talking about graphemes or the homework talks about graphemes, you'll know what we're talking about. So what is a grapheme? A grapheme is the way we write a phoneme. And a phoneme is the smallest unit of sound in a word. For example, uh, k is a phoneme. The phoneme k can be written in five different ways. C with a K, a CK, a QU or a CH. Each of those five different letters or letter combinations are all graphemes. Grapheme is the big umbrella term. There are different types of graphemes. We can have a graph. A graph is where one letter equals one phoneme. Here are some examples. And this is the first thing our kindergarten children are going to learn, that one letter equals one phoneme. And this is how they start to sound to spell and sound to read. Next, they're going to learn about a digraph. A digraph is where there are two letters that make one phoneme. There are quite a few different digraphs. We've got consonant digraphs, and these represent all the consonant phonemes. Then we have vowel digraphs, and these represent all of the vowel phonemes. We can also have double consonant digraphs. Some letters double, not all letters double, but some do, and we learn these as digraphs, two letters making one phoneme. We can also have what's called a split digraph, and you'll see these at the end of a lot of words. Split digraph is where you have a vowel and an E, and they're split by a consonant in between. I'll give you an example, the word nine, N, I, N, that actually says nin, but if I turn this into the split digraph, it says nine, and there's that consonant in between that split digraph. That's a tricky one, but is found in so many words, and that is learned early on with their synthetic phonic sequence. Okay, next we have a trigraph. Trigraph is where three letters equal one phoneme. And here's some examples. That I-G-H, the first one, makes the phoneme I. That would be the first trigraph they would learn. And next, quadgraph. And a quadgraph is four letters equaling one phoneme. And you might not think there are many, but there are quite a few. Here are some examples. We've got A-I-G-H, E-I-G-H, O-U-G-H or A-U-G-H, and they all are four letters but make one phoneme only. Now graphemes then form the basis of our sound choices when we're spelling. You can see I have the word trick on the side and I've tried to spell it in three different ways. All of them sound right, trick, 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 but only one is spelt correctly. And as students progress through their understanding of different graphemes, they're going to then learn generalizations about these graphemes to help them choose which one to use. And so some of that is looking at it to see which one looks right, but there are also generalizations to help them know that the CK grapheme or digraph comes after a short vowel sound, so we use it in trick. Thank you for listening to my explanation on graphemes and I hope that next time it comes home on the homework or you hear it being talked about by the teachers, you will understand what we're talking about.